Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org creating this video for the new Boston. Uh, we've already looked in file uploading um, at how to actually upload the file. Then what we did is we went on to look at the security, so we made sure that this file could only be JPEG or with the JPEG uh, extension. And we did that in two ways to ensure that we had the maximum security possible. However, what happens if we want to check the file size? Now, file size is actually processed through in bytes, so we can uncomment this now because we want to use this. So let's just echo that out, um, and then we'll comment out the rest of this code so we can uh, preview uh, the result of this. So let's just go and choose a file. We'll choose this image file again and click Submit. Now, you'll see that this file has been returned at um, 145,801 bytes. So we can automatically tell by looking at it with simple maths that this is a 145 kilobyte file, nearly 146 kilobytes. So we can use this to um, allow ourselves to process um, files, let's say we don't want a file over 2 megabytes, we don't want an image file over 2 megabytes. So let's say we um, are going to stick with our 2 megabyte maximum um, allowed file size. Now the, the way we do this is um, we can easily work this out using Google. So if I just pull up this page here, you can see I've already typed 2 megabytes to bytes. And Google's automatically used the calculator to work this out for me. It's 2 million and then uh, blah blah blah. So if we just copy and paste this, um, we can copy and paste this into a variable in our code, so we can get rid of these comments now. Um, so I want, um, as well as, uh, let's just get rid of this echo as well, as well as extension up here, um, I now want to create an, a variable under size saying max uh, size. So I'm going to make this equal to this number. Obviously we want to pull in uh, the spaces so we've got it as an integer. So the max size is this. So we need to now perform a simple check to see if the max size is less than or equal to this size. So what we're going to do is we are going to uh, modify this here and we're going to create another and. So we're using another logical operator here with and. And we're saying and size um, smaller than max size. So now we need to modify our um, error message accordingly, uh, accordingly and must be 2 megabytes or less. Okay, so now what we're doing as well as checking for the file extension, we're also and then checking that the size is less than, oh, I forgot the equals to, so less than or equals to max size. So this is, uh, this is basically going to work now. So let's just double check. Um, I don't actually have a file available that's more than 2 megabytes at the moment so what I'm going to do is I'm going to slightly decrease this value um, and I'm going to say uh, 100, um, 100 kilobytes. So the maximum is 100 kilobytes uh, which is 10,000. Well it's, it's not exactly because of the uh, you know just how it works out. Um, um, but we could more accurately calculate that there. So for now, I'm just going to say 100,000 bytes, okay? So um, let's open up our um, choose file. Now let's get rid of everything in our um, uploaded folder just so we upload those. So we've got one file in there. Let's just get rid of that. Let's pop a star in there and we'll delete that one there. Okay, so uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to upload uh, two files. Um, because I've now set my limit to um, uh, roughly 100 kilobytes, because this file is more than 100 kilobytes, it won't be uploaded. It's 142 kilobytes. So if I click on that and click Submit, you can see that we're now getting the error message. File must be JPEG and must be 2 megabytes or less. So you can modify your uh, error message accordingly, or you could do two different if statements um, one to check the extension and give the appropriate message or you can do one and, and you could do one to check the size and give the uh, appropriate um, message there as well so now let's choose this um, let's choose this file.php now this at one at this point just to uh, point out if I was to change this to file.jpg and I was to try and upload this you can see at the moment it's being uploaded and the reason for this is 
um, we need to change our um, if statement slightly. I've just realized from the last video that we need to make um, an adjustment. So we also need to say and type equals equals and we need to say image and we need to say JPG. Okay, so um, now let's try and choose this uh, fake JPEG file, which is actually um, a PHP file. And we'll click submit, and it's giving us the uh, appropriate error message. However, um, let's just say I was to, um, I don't know if we have an image here that's under 100. Oh, there we go. We've got one here that's 54.3 kilobytes. So let's try and upload that. We click we click submit and it hasn't worked so let's go back again and this is just my logic um, we need to um, let's just first of all enclose this in uh, brackets so we can see what we're doing properly we need to say if type equals image um, JPEG or type equals um, image JPG so uh, let's try again so as long as you can get your head around the logic of it which I'm obviously having a problem doing at the moment um, you'll be absolutely fine so let's try and upload this 54 kilobyte file and that says uploaded. Um, let's just try and upload the fake file. Click submit, um, and that says uploaded. Okay, so in actual fact, let's go back and just revise our code. Um, first of all, so um, image uh, extension is JPEG or JPG. Um, we also need to say and type equals, and this should always be correct if the file type is a JPEG file. So let's just, and then the, we check for the size. So let's just go through this again. So let's try and upload, uh, first of all, just a normal file. Okay, so the size is bigger than two megabytes. So now let's try and upload one that's under the, uh, the size, which is this one here. Click Submit. Okay, so that's been uploaded. Now let's try and upload this uh, file.jpg, this PHP file we've renamed, and that's still been uploaded. Okay, so I think probably at this point, uh, if, if, if a user were to uh, rename a PHP file to JPG, there's nothing that they can actually do with it um, in terms of on the server. It will still be uploaded uh, as an image file. Um, unless they have access to the server to rename it, I don't think it actually matters at this stage. However, um, as it stands, we are securing our form as much as possible uh, with regards to only allowing uh, JPEG files to be uploaded, we're using the extension and the type. Um, obviously, by changing this, we've changed the type, so we have a bit of a problem there. But nevertheless, um, we'll just test this out quickly and type an echo next to the type uh, just to see um, what happens when we upload this. So let's click submit. Yeah, you can see it's image forward slash. That's just simply because we've renamed the file. So I think for now we've uh, we've secured it quite nicely. Um, our files have been uploaded and uh, we've um, checked for the size.